Hello, this is Matt with Modern School Bus, and in this video, I'm going to show how to use pivot tables in Google Sheets. So if you've never used pivot tables before, they are a very powerful tool for summarizing and analyzing large data sets. So I highly recommend that you check out this video. If you are new to pivot tables, they might seem intimidating at first, but they really are powerful when it comes to working with large data sets. So a pivot table is a flexible and efficient way to summarize data. And when you're working with large data sets, pivot tables make it very quick and easy to pull out the information that you want. So what we're gonna go over in this tutorial is how to create a pivot table in Google Sheets. And then I'm gonna cover some of the options that you have with pivot tables. And pivot tables don't take very long to learn and once you are comfortable with them they are very useful. So here I have my data that I'm going to use to create the pivot table with. So what I have in this is sales data for different products. So I have date, I have the product, I have the color of the product, the size, and then the sales revenue. And so this by itself is not very useful for analyzing the data and coming up with different conclusions about my data set. But when I summarize it with the pivot table, then I can analyze it the way that I want to. So the first thing that we need to do is create our pivot table. So what I want to do is select within my data range. I'm going to go up to insert and then we're going to select pivot table. And so this is going to create the pivot table with the data from cell A1 to E1000, which is where my data ends. So this is what I want. One important thing to note is that you don't want to have gaps in your data. If I have a row missing here, then Google Sheets might only use the data down to this row. So I have no gaps in my data, so you wanna check and make sure that you don't. The other thing that you could do is you could just manually highlight as well. So if I go from A1 all the way down to E1000, then I know I have all of the data that I want within my pivot table. So what you're gonna do is either select within your data or highlight all your data and then go to insert and we're gonna go pivot table. I always like to insert pivot tables into a new sheet, so I'm gonna leave this selected and I'm gonna select create. Okay, I'm gonna pause the lesson really quick and let you know about my free course. If you are a beginner at Excel or Google Sheets, I have a free course with the nine most fundamental lessons that you need to master. Click the link in the description of the video to get the course now. So now it is time to populate our pivot table. And this is the step that a lot of people find intimidating if they have never used pivot tables, but it is actually pretty simple once you get the hang of it. So firstly, Google Sheets does provide some suggested views here for you. More often than not, I don't find these particularly useful, but sometimes you might have a view that you're interested in looking at. So you can select that, but I usually just create my own view. So what we need to do now is figure out what we want to look at from our original data set. And so what we need to do is specify what we want to have as a row, what we want to have as a column, or what we want to have as a value. Now more often than not, with our original data set, our value is just going to end up being sales because that's ultimately what we want to look at. But you may come up with some other views depending on what you need. So just as a starting place, maybe what I want to do is just look at revenue by date. So then what I'm going to do is rows, I'm going to add date. And I don't need a column because I'm only looking at revenue. So under values, I'm going to add the sales because that is our revenue. And so now I have summarized the total sales revenue by each date. So that is the first pretty simple view that we can set up with this data. Maybe now when I'm looking at this, I wanna see which product is responsible for the sales on each of these dates. So then what I could do is come into the columns and what we're, we're gonna do is add product here. And so now I can see that of this revenue, these are the product sales that make up this total here. And so now we have summarized the product sales for each date. And so getting that from this was pretty easy with the pivot table, whereas doing it manually would take a lot of time. So now we're starting to see the benefits of using a pivot table to quickly summarize large data sets. Now maybe what I wanna do is I wanna summarize this data by month instead of the individual day. So what I can do is come into this column that has the date and I'm gonna right click. And what we're going to do is select create pivot date group and I'm gonna select month. 
And so now it has summarized the data by month. So I can see which product sold best on each month and how much revenue they brought in. Maybe now I wanna know which size product sold best for each of these months. So what I can do is under rows, I can add size. And now we can see for each date, the sales by product and size. So there really is a ton of different ways that we can analyze this data. So really, again, it depends what you wanna look at. So maybe I have another question. I wanna know what color sold best overall, and I don't care about date or size. So I'm gonna remove date and size, and then under rows, what I'm gonna do is add color. And so now we can see what color of each product sold best. But maybe you actually don't even care about the product type so I can remove product type and now we can see overall what is the best selling color so now that we've covered the basics of how to populate and change the view in your pivot table I just want to go over now some of the other options that you have with pivot tables so one option you have is to change how your data is summarized. So usually by default, this is going to be set up to summarize by sum. So this is the sum of all of the sales of this color. But maybe you don't want the sum of the sales. Maybe you just want the count of the sales. So the number of times that each color appeared. So what you can do then is come under the summarize option and select count. And now it'll have the count of sales, but you do have some other options in here. So you can take a look at all of these different ways that you can summarize your data. Now you also have some options to change how your values show or how they display. So I'm gonna change this back to sum, but maybe instead of just showing a value here, you wanna show this as a percentage. So I'm gonna show this as a percentage of the column. And so now, each of these is showing the percentage of this total column that it makes up. So this is another useful way that you can edit your pivot table if you would rather view your data in percentages. And you have options whether you want percentage of a row, of a column, or of a grand total. Now some other options that you have with pivot tables is how your data sorts. So right now it is sorted by color in ascending order but maybe what you want is descending order. So I can change that. Or maybe what you wanna do is actually start it by your values. So by sum of sales. So right now it's ascending, but I can change this to descending as well. So you have some options for your sort order here as well. And then the last thing that I'm going to cover is removing totals. So to show you removing totals, I'm actually gonna add products back in here. And then instead of showing the data as a percentage, I'm gonna change it back to default so we can see the total value. Now, if you wanna remove grand total, you can do that both in the row section and in the column section. So if I wanna remove the grand total in rows, I can do that by unselecting this show totals box. And if you wanna do it in columns, you can select that here in this show totals option here and so now i have removed the grand totals and you can toggle that by selecting these boxes here so that is it for this tutorial we have covered how to create a pivot table how to populate it depending on what you want to summarize as well as how to change the values displayed how to sort and how to remove the grand totals from your pivot table Ultimately, the best way to learn is by doing. So I highly recommend if you have not created a pivot table yet to open up a data set or create a fake data set and start playing around with pivot tables and Google Sheets. If you've just been watching the video, it's not going to make as much sense as if you are actually creating one and following along with the video. So I highly recommend you do this, but ultimately it's up to you. Thank you for watching.